Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through A-level maths. Here we're looking at the ambiguous case of the sine rule here so we can answer questions from exercise 9c. Just a quick video so this rarely comes up but it's best that you've seen it. When you're working with a sine rule and you're working out an angle um, you could actually get two answers for most of your questions but it depends on how the question is drawn. Now generally you're going to get an answer that's in between 0 to 90 degrees but if we consider the full range of angles that uh, it could be, we could actually get an answer in between 90 to 180 degrees. Now we'd never get an angle above 180 degrees because angles in triangles add up to 180. But we could get an angle in between 90 and 180. So let's show you how this could work out uh, in a question. A general rule that we can remember with this is that sine of theta is equal to the sine of the same, or not the same angle, but the, the pair of angle where you do 180 minus it. Okay, so let's go through a question and see how this could affect our answer. So when we've got a length of A to B is 4 centimetres, B to C is 3 centimetres, and angle uh, B, A, C is 44 centimetres, and we want to work out angle A, C, B, uh, how do we do this? Now in the question here, it's obviously drawn with a, um, an acute angle in between 0 to 90 degrees. So set up your sine rule. Here is the angle you're working out. So pair it with a little a over here, little b over here, and capital C over here. So substitute in your values here. And times through by 4, and you're going to get sine theta equals 4 sine 44 over 3. Find out the value of that and you get sine of theta is 0.9262 and inverse the sine and you get about 68 degrees. Now this here looks like a triangle that could have uh, an angle of 68 degrees but however we didn't consider the angle of 112 degrees. Let's not draw our triangle going down here anymore. Let's draw our 3 centimetre line coming back in at an angle on the triangle. So all the sides are still the same, we've just drawn our triangle a bit differently. And we can clearly see here now that we have an obtuse angle of 112.15. So that's how we could get two possible answers for an angle when using the sine rule. Pause the video and have a go at this question. Okay, so let's draw out a diagram so we can visualise what's going on here. So we need an angle here of 30 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll call this side, this corner A, this corner B, and this corner C. Uh, A to B is given as 10 centimetres. A to C is given as 7 centimetres. Find two possible angles for A, C, B. So this angle here. Alternatively, this 7 centimetre line could have come back in at an angle so we could potentially be working out this angle as well. Let's work out this angle here first so it's going to be uh, pair up our angles this is sine this is capital A that we need to work out here so use the sine A over A uh, equals sine B over B so substituting in the numbers here we're going to get sine of a over its opposite side of 10 equals sine of 30 over uh, its opposite side here of 7 times through by 10 so it's 10 times sine 30 over 7 so here sine of a is going to equal 5 over 7 So in this case here, sine, so a is going to equal inverse sine of 5 over 7, which is equal to 45.6. So that's in this case here. The alternative case will be 180 take away 45.6, which is equal to 134.4. Okay, so that's how you would answer a question 
where you have a obtuse angle inside a sine rule question. Great, thanks for watching. Have a practice of some of these questions on exercise 9c. Remember that watching the video is only 10% of the learning. 90% uh, of the learning is going to be through you having to go at some questions independently. Thanks for watching.